the last thing you want to do, even if you're going through an emotionally difficult time, yes, you should have some time to yourself to reflect on everything and, you know, kind of recuperate and everything like that. You should have some time on yourself to get yourself back on track. But at the same time, it's like that doesn't really excuse your behavior as to ignoring people or just pretty much pushing people away like isolation while depressed is like not good and i was isolated when i was depressed a lot of times i didn't have that friendship i didn't have the bonds like that i didn't have people that care about me the same way i care about them you know i didn't have that i didn't have any type of emotional closure did i want it yeah if I had it, I would be so glad to say that I have emotional closure with someone. I would be so glad to say that if I had it. Now, there's periods of time where I do find somebody I have emotional closure with, but then there's always just a thing. But the last few people I know, there was idolization. And then there was like a rejection of God. I believed in God. They didn't. And that's enough to break apart anything. For me, it is. That's enough. Now. I can still help them, yes, I can still give them advice, yes, but at the same time, that's a huge factor in my life. God is a huge factor for me to give them advice how to navigate without any hope because God is the way, the truth, and the light. I can't give them advice on how to navigate their life without Him, without praying, without hope, without faith, without anything like that because those are requirements to literally life those are the requirements to finding your purpose to finding your true you and there's things that you have to sacrifice and some people are not willing to make those sacrifices everybody i meet so far are not willing to make the necessary sacrifices that they need to to become or find their purpose and i understand like how hard it is because i've been through that same exact thing I felt the same exact way. But there comes a time where I didn't care anymore. That I would give up anything just to find my purpose. Just to get closer to God. That I would give up anything, including my life. Because I didn't I didn't see any point in it anymore. For living for me, I didn't see a point. I didn't see a point in that. I, I did everything I could. I went to self-love communities. I tried to connect with different people. I tried to form all types of relationships with all kinds of different type of people just to pretty much run away from the fact that I felt hopeless. I tried to create hope if I could for myself. I tried to create it and I failed. I couldn't create peace for myself. That's the only reason I found peace in God because it gave me a goal. It gave me a guide. It gave me a purpose. It gave me a reason to keep going for the right in the world, not for the wrong, but for the right to help people. And I've always wanted to help people, but I don't believe I was helping them to the extent I could once I knew about God's morals and stuff. Now I realize there is a more proper way of living. There is a more righteous way of living. There is a more loving way of living. There is a more appropriate way of living. So it's like every time I talk to somebody new nowadays, I try to get them in the right direction and the thing that tears me and them apart is when I tell them to sacrifice something because it's usually the thing I'm asking them to give up is usually the thing they revolve their whole life around whether that's some type of idol like celebrity or whatever or whoever it is somebody they look up to or something material wise like this person believed crystals can change their mood in their day and without the crystals they don't think they can survive and they revolved their whole life around the crystal. The crystal was their source of happiness. Every time I tell them to give up, whatever they revolved their world around, if it wasn't God, if I told them to give that thing up as an idol or as a source of life, they would get upset with me. And as soon as that happened, they'll just leave. They wouldn't want to talk to me, wouldn't want to be associated with me, wouldn't want to be anything. And they will only be associated with me if I didn't tell them to sacrifice anything if i didn't tell them to give up anything if i didn't tell them the truth they will accept me they already know within themselves that they're not happy with what they are they're not happy with who they're involved with they're not happy with their 
their fake friends, the people that they're pleasing. They're not happy with these people. Some of them will rather be with them and feel accepted than be alone and feel unaccepted. You know, and who wouldn't when you think about it? Who wants to be alone? But at the same time, being alone in your truth, being in tune with your truth, being in tune, knowing your purpose, knowing what you're living for is way better than not knowing what you're living for. Knowing your goals, knowing yourself, all of this stuff is way better than feeling lost within and lost outside. Because if you're lost within yourself, you would just feel hollow. You'll just feel empty. You'll feel like you're just nothing, that you're just here to be here with no way. I don't understand. There's so many people that will come into my life and tell me, hey, I think just like you. I agree with everything that you say. You know, you're a great person. Most of the people that told me I was a good person, a good person to be around, this and that and the other, most of the people that told me that are not here today. Most of the people that told me they'll never leave is not here today. Most of the people who told me they love me, that they would want to be with me, are not with me today because words to them don't mean the same as words to me. You know why? Because the words they choose, they choose those words when they feel that way. They fall into those words. See, I use my words on intention. I think before I speak. I don't always just say exactly what I feel. I say what I know. I say what I know is true within myself. A lot of people fall in love. They don't love you intentionally. It's almost like they accidentally love you. It's almost like, oh, he had this charm and everything and I just fell in love. You just connected and it just happened. You know, if love just happens, it's not love because people have to choose to love. You have to choose to love with an intention. You have to look at that person and say, I love you because I choose to. Because it's better to love somebody on purpose than an accident. I don't like accidental love because accidental love is not real love. You just end up using this person to escape your reality. You, you end up using someone to fulfill some fantasy in your head. You don't even realize you're using this person when you actually are. You don't even realize that this person that you're talking to, you are actually using them. You are using them to live out an imagination. Not that you genuinely love them. They just make you feel like you're living out a dream. But when I love somebody, I want to look at them and still be in reality and not in a fantasy. I want to be able to love them in this world, in this imperfect world, and be able to be with them and love them in this world. Love them through all the struggles. Love them even if they had nothing. Love them during their breakdowns and love them during their best times. And no matter what, stick beside them and let them know I'm going to be there. You know how rare it is for a person to actually be there when you struggle? You know how many people hit the ground all by themselves? A lot of people that have a partner can't even open up to their partner. A lot of people that are married feel alone. A lot of people that are with others feel alone while they're around them. They don't even feel the comfortability to even open up to them. There is still some deep and dark things that they wish they could express, but they can't because the people they're around, they know are gonna be the same people to shut them down and not even hear them out. Some people need you to listen and be honest with them, you know? They say honesty is the best policy, but not for some people. Allowance is the best policy because you allow enough and then you enable enough, everybody will like you. Because some people want to live in a chaotic world. They don't even realize they want to live in a chaotic world, but they do. Because a world with rules and structure, people will say it's too strict. It's no fun. There's a reason that they have structure in schools. There's a reason where they have rules in school. Because it keeps order. And actually order teaches discipline. Now, I'm not saying be majorly strict, that we need to live in a majorly strict society. We should have freedom to do certain things, you know. But in life, we shouldn't be doing what we want to do. We should be doing what's right and what we know would help other people, including ourselves. Like, I'm so tired of the dishonesty in this world, the chaos in this world. I'm so tired of being honest with somebody and then they get mad and they leave and they never want to talk again or they just ignore me, or they just act strange towards me because they want me conform to a type of lifestyle. Some people just want to bring you into destruction and if you don't want to go 
and destroy yourself, then they just don't want to be around you. A lot of people would lie to you just to make you feel like you had a friend or had a relationship or had anything that you wanted just to use you, just to use your energy, just to keep you around. Sometimes you're just a tool for others to play with. Sometimes your emotions and everything and nothing but tools for people to play with and use against you and use for their own pleasures and benefits. Some people only thinking about them. Most people only thinking about themselves. And that's the way they're conditioned. Sometimes when your parents bring you up, they forget to tell you to share. They forget to tell you to look out for other people. They forget to tell you to not only think about yourself because some people condition you into only believing in helping yourself and only thinking about yourself and loving yourself and doing things for yourself to not worry about anybody else. We are social beings meant to care for one another, but that sometimes isn't taught under every household. Sometimes they say worry about your success even at the expense of losing people that actually care about you. Some people say, hey, cut your loved one off just so you can make it. And some people would gladly take that opportunity to cut somebody off just so they can make it somewhere. If somebody was to get offered a lot of money and all they have to do is cut off their best friends or family members, some people would just gladly take that opportunity and cut those people off. That's why I feel like the most broken people happen to be the most people I get along with because they are the most humble people. When I'm looking for humility, when I'm looking for people who are appreciative, when I'm looking for people who don't think of themselves as a god or somebody that has this huge ego, it's broken people. A lot of times when I talk to people, I always used to wonder, why do I feel like a magnet for people who are always struggling in life? And the reason that is, they already have humility. Most of these people are real. Most of these people are genuine. Some of the people so-called doing well in life that brag all the time, they don't have no humbleness in their heart. They don't have no genuineness in their heart. They don't have no real part of them because they think they better than everybody else. They think they know a lot. They think they're ahead of everybody. But it's sometimes the people at the bottom who should really be at the top because some of those people at the bottom realize that we're all equal, realize that we all have potential, realize that we all have a life. Even if we're in a tough situation, they acknowledge you as a human being. They don't step on you because you might be poorer than them, or you might have more insecurities than them, or you might have more problems than them. They don't look at you any lower than that. They still look at you as a human and they understand you and they respect you. And that's the type of person I like to be around. But there's rarely people like that. I get being nice. I get not wanting to say the truth at the expense of somebody else's feelings, but you know what? You hurt them way more like that because there comes a time where you're actually giving them false hope and giving somebody false hope. It's like giving them an unstable foundation to stand on because that foundation is not going to hold up because your words are not going to hold up. You're setting their expectations high just to bring them down. You don't want to be kind to protect somebody's feelings. That's not the point of being kind. Being kind, being kind is honesty. Being kind is telling them the truth. Some people don't have that decency to just be honest. They choose to ignore you and they choose to play mind games and they, they choose to have you figure out puzzles rather than just be upfront with you. And I get it. A lot of times people don't know what to exactly say and they struggle about what to say or what to do. But it's like, if you truly care, you could put yourself aside for once and put anxiety aside for once and just tell the truth. You can sum it up into a few words if you want to, but just be honest. I'm not even gonna lie, honesty has hurt me plenty of times. People being honest to me. I mean, there are more respectful ways to be honest. And sometimes it may hurt. It may hurt. Honesty has hurt me a lot, but it's also helped me a lot too. Because if they didn't be honest with me, they would have been leading me on into thinking something is fine when it clearly wasn't fine. When you're not honest with people, you're actually damaging them more. You're going to lead them into thinking that everything is going fine. And then when you finally be honest with them, they've got their expectations all high and they think everything is going fine. And out of nowhere, you're like, hey, everything is not fine. And then you break them. And then you have them feeling anxious about the next person they meet or the next person they could trust. A lot of the time people 
there's so many damaged people out here because of the lack of honesty, because of the lack of communication, understanding. They don't even know who they could trust anymore because they've been through so many dishonest relationships or people who just couldn't be honest with them or mature with them or upfront with them. But you should always be careful with who you trust. Time is going by fast. Sometimes I don't even realize how long I've known someone because in my head, when I think I met someone special, time is not even there. It's non-existent, and that's because it's just something I've been longing for. So when you finally feel like you have something that you've been longing for, you just get lost in time. You don't even think about anything else. And I just pray to God that everything is going to work all right in my life. Because, man, it sucks. I do hope that I could just find somebody I could chill with one day, you know, and just hang with and text and not have to worry about whether I'm doing too much or doing too less, but just be able to relax. Anyway, um, if you guys even made it this far, I'm so happy that you've listened to the way that I feel. And um, definitely reach out if you want to. You know, but yeah, I love you all. God bless you all. Bye.